I just got back from Lost Lands and holy fuck. That was the most amazing weekend I've ever had in my life. And truthfully, the sound and the bass was so crazy. The new stage, the crater had the best sub, the best bass I've ever heard in my life. A 360 dome funnel of sub bass, man. Come on, all right, anyways. I've been listening to Heartbox a lot because a lot of the DJs are playing them. They're just the hardest, hardest songs I've ever heard in my life. And I was referencing a Hall and a Hurtbox song. And I made this. I started this at the airport. I kind of finished it. The whole time I'm dancing at Lost Lands, I'm like dancing to these pitch bin subs. And I'm just like being sucked in by all this sub bass. My whole life has changed. My whole mindset has changed on making music. So I need to show you guys what's up. Let's listen to this song that I made. And then uh, I'll section out a part of this that will be in my Patreon so you guys can see and have some of the goodies. Go ahead and check this out. So I just want to show you guys the flow, the song arrangement, some of these techniques. And tomorrow I'm going to make another video specifically on the sub bass because the sub is the most important. That's going to take some time and some finesse. And I want there to be a separate video on that. But I'm using this ominous pack for a lot of these rhythm sounds. Um, the Avant ominous pack will be in the description. I'm an affiliate with them. So you guys can get that if you don't have a lot of rhythm sounds. But just for easy plug and play, man, you can easily... Like this was a bass loop and I just chopped up like the first section. I then transposed it down to my root note and, you know, chopped it up, made some. And while the main rhythm is playing, so there's a call and response pattern going on here. Check this. So it starts, goes bump, bump. And then it starts going constant here and we add two extra layers. Adding some width, adding some texture. And this one's adding a lot of support. And then these all go with the sub, which is just pitch bending into existence. Like I said, the detailed explanation on this sub is gonna be tomorrow. This is a big one. You see the, we got these little fills. Lots of cool different flow tricks. And remember, we have this fake out. With this fake out, you know, we're just using a serum preset, obviously using an ominous patch. We can slightly modify this cutoff on this filter to get different tones. So we did that. Most importantly, though, we have a reverb thrower turned on right here, so it sounds big and spacious. Backspin. All these little things make a big difference in the flow and the way each phrase phrase moves into the, each other. The way each phrase moves into another one. We have an alarm and like two different types of alarms. Adding tension. <laughs> oh, 
On the main bass group, I have a little bit of multiband dynamics. We have G clip, making sure it doesn't go past zero. And then we have a very clean reverb, adding some width and space in parallel, which is really adding some niceness. Another G clip. Each sample will also have a little bit of reverb and a little bit of multiband dynamics. This is all to make it loud, put it in front of the mix and make sure it's not too drowned out in reverb. On this next phrase here. So the first, uh, the first eight bars is similar, but the next eight bars, we switch up the main bass. So this bass loop, it's the same sample that I just showed you, but now we're pitching it in a different way, using formants and creating like new sounds and new basses with the resampling techniques or the, the pitching techniques, I should say. You'll see I kind of chop up some of these basses in some sections just to add a little bit of spice when it needs it. We don't want it to get too repetitive with the quarter note. So in some sections, you add a little flair. Keep in mind too, pitch bend will change. So it's like more pitch bend here, but then the next phrase, it's less pitch bend. This stuff has a lot going on with the notes. We're gonna get into this tuning with the sub video tomorrow. Also, you gotta make sure that you layer the different types of simple, simple intro sounds. So like we have an alarm, a shaker, and a war horn. And they all come together and really fill up the space. And then one of the main things is the vocal, right? We need a sick vocal. So I went on, I got like a little AI uh, vocal. Pitched it down a lot to negative 21. Added formants so we get more high frequencies in here. And then from this dark vocal, I add my reverb, my distortion, my saturation. Little Alter Boy to change the pitch even more, add the reverb in parallel, add a little bit of multiband dynamics, more distortion, clean it up with the EQ8. Serum effects. We're using this for the delay to add that sick rhythm delay. I'm gonna turn it off. Giving it that rhythm fill. More reverb here. Being automated. Grain delay being automated over here. If I want that long delay tail, I use this delay for that to that tail. It's on eight long feedback, 63. So this vocal is really gonna be leading and really giving the vibe, setting the tone for this. Man, I want to play at Lost Land so bad. I just want to make a billion bangers. I'm going to keep grinding and keep making that heavy rhythm. I hope you guys learned something watching this flow, how I structured everything. And just, I hope you're getting inspired by Hurtbox, you know? There's a reason why all the best rhythm DJs rinsed his songs at Lost Lands. Anyways, I'm in a daze. I need to get back to work. I will see you guys soon. Have a great night. And don't forget in the Patreon will be this project so you guys can get what you need. Have a good one. Peace.